program uh, for mild to moderate uh, traumatic brain injury uh, patients with gait and balance deficit. So the, the device itself goes around the neck and then there's a mouthpiece that attaches to um, the device. Um, the patient. Yeah. And then it just sits on the tongue. Yeah, it sits on the first third of the tongue. Um, and the patient goes through 20 minute segments of balance, gait, um, breathing, and awareness. Uh, yeah, that's, you can even, if you want to open it up. The device itself, um, it's 143 gold plated electrodes on the tip of it. Um, so it is a very mild stimulation. Um, and it, it stimulates the trigeminal nerve and the facial nerve, uh, which leading up uh, to, to stimulate the cerebellum for movement. Um, and uh, yeah, you can connect it there. Um, yeah. and, and again, if I miss anything, if anyone has questions, but it is essentially 14 weeks of exercise therapy with the device. Um, and. I'm probably going to miss something. And then okay. the assessment at the beginning, there is a six hour assessment, so functional gait assessment, um, uh, neurocatch, which is like an EEG, uh, Vienna, uh, which is a cognitive testing. Um, so there's a bunch of tests that you have to do, and then you can pick tests um, for each patient specialized to what they are going through. Um, That's for the baseline, just so we yeah. know where the patient is coming in. Baseline state. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then there's a reassessment at week two, week eight, and then there's a follow-up assessment at the end to see how, what gains they've made. Um, so again, it's all it's gait ba um, balance um, uh, testing along with cognitive. And the patient we did have here had gains in all of them by the end of his program. So even cognitive um, uh, cognition, he had uh, some benefits at the end of it too. Uh, and, and we how take. quickly, I mean, even yeah. with uh, oh, wait, a week patient. Two. Yeah. yeah, at week two, he came in walking with a cane, and then at week two, he was walking 100% of the time without his cane. Yeah. He had had falls at home. Um, he was an off-label patient, which means he's not an on-label, which he wasn't a mild to moderate traumatic brain injury patient. He was um, uh, had brain surgery, so he had, a, had tumors removed. Um, and he's given his consent to share his story, so that's good. Um, and he's he, missing. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, you're not. But you know, he, was it at week two that he was on the balance pad, eyes closed, no cane? Yes, yes, because the balance pad, that the Eric's foam, is a huge part of the program. That yeah, the the um, students stand there for 20 minutes with that device in their mouth. Um, so it is really important to have tissues because you you drool for the first part before you get used to it. Um, but and and Health Canada is. Um, uh, well, Helios, the company that developed the program, is uh, submitting for Health Canada to approve MS right now to, to go through the program as well to be Health Canada approved. So it, it has been submitted. Submitted, wow. yeah. And they're just waiting for it to, you know, just, you know, for the answers from, yeah. from the government to come back. But And we've got so much information on it. If anybody wants to reach out, I know we're just going really quick. Um, yeah, and, and then the you know, and then there, there's studies there. There's a lot of you know, there's a lot of stuff, right? You know, but for me, it's like you know, proof was in the pudding, and you know, when when our patient, you know, he came through, and you know, the week one he started, and week two without you know walking without a cane, and you know that that joy in his face, you know, that happiness, you know, what he you know, brought with him was, was the key, right? You know, you, 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 you just, you know, as a practitioner, you always want to see that, you know, feeling, because not all the time you get those, you know, kind of straightaway gains, you know, with people, but when you get those, you know, it feels good, yeah. you know, and you feel that you, you, you just helping people out and it's I mean, going in the right direction. Why else are we here, no. right? Mm -hmm. It's to make that difference in patients' patients' lives. And, uh, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's the things that he can do now, right? I think he had booked a trip. Yeah, he's on a trip after now. This. Yeah, he's, he's on, on a trip, a trip now right with now. His wife and, um, and after too, he could close his eyes and, sh and wash his hair in the shower. And then um, just, it's such a basic thing, right? For yeah. us, like, we won't even think about it, but yeah. for him, it's yeah. such a huge thing that, you know, he had talent share. We you know, do and 
part of the program we do have to film the functional gait assessment. So that there's filmings of him and it just with even with his turn, like he would have he took him so long to turn. I think it was five seconds and then it reduced to two seconds to turn um, with a with a few steps. So Well it was, wasn't it like he had done a five point yeah, kind of like Yeah. But then he like whipped around and smiled in the camera, so it was very exciting. And and he can walk in tandem without his cane, like it was yeah. Anyway, but I want to see more of, of that because, yeah, it was very um, inspirational. It, it is. It's a lot of work, though. It's three hours a day for the patient, so oh, wow. it's six days a week, um, and it's at home for most of it. Like, the first two weeks are in clinic more so, um, and then they come in weekly, uh, but most of it's at home that they have to be dedicated to do in, in um, an hour and a half in the morning, hour and a half uh, in the afternoon and then 20 minute segment for breathing and awareness with the device on at night. Um, so yeah, you always, you're picking the right positions that he can do at home safely and, um, but yeah, he, he said it's a huge commitment and that's the only thing he would pass on is, uh, but that's how much it takes for neuroplasticity for changes. So that's, yeah, it's important. Well, they're continuing to study this as this is something that's new to the market, right? That's just been approved and it's new to the market. They're continuing to study it to see if actually decreased stimulus or um, the amount that's required will yield the same results, mm -hmm. right, for the, um, for the uh, treatment itself. I mean, as it is right now, um, from the study that was done in the U.S., or were you going to go nope, through nope, that? Go okay. Um, the study that was done in the mm -hmm. U.S., I mean, they're showing 75% um, of the cases improved with this care. And that too for um, long-standing results, not just a temporary result. So post-care, I think it was four months post-care, um, they did a, a reassessment and the patient hadn't, patients hadn't regressed at all um, with the treatment. Uh, that being said as well, I mean, uh, obviously this is for on-label use Right, that's what it's been approved by by Health Canada for mild to moderate brain injuries resulting in gait deficits, gait imbalance deficits. However, um, a significant amount of patients have gone through the program that have had strokes, uh, that have Parkinson's, um, that have MS, and showing uh, amazing results in, in these conditions as well. Uh, even cerebral palsy, uh, they've done a study. Uh, I mean, this is all obviously. Um, Confidential. <laughs> not like, not know, what Health Canada has approved for. However, <laughs> these studies have been done in Russia as well, where um, all uh, citizens um, actually get, I believe, two weeks treatment um, every year, um, right, for physiotherapy. And patients were getting results, but then come one year full circle, um, patients were not... Uh, um, sustaining those results. Uh, however, with now um, administering the, the, the PONS treatment, patients are actually keeping their results from year to year. Um, and uh, I mean, there's one amazing study. Anyhow, you can go and online then, uh, and you can see they, the they, results they, patients are getting. They, there's so much, you know, on, on it. And But again, you know, because it's been approved only for, you know, certain things, so they can only go and advertise or, or talk about those things because there are other benefits, but it's all about neuroplasticity and how it helps in lots of other cases, right? And, and lots of other gains where you can. But, you know, following the protocols, they only have to do, you know, and go with certain things, you know, what they can. But there is a, you know, there's a lot of usage. And, and again... Sorry, with, I didn't want to step in with... Where are you guys? No, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, you know, with, with, again, you know, with, with the patient okay. that, that came came in to us, and it was not just like, you know, we got it and then he was like, interested. he has been following it for years, you know, prior to, you know, just, just taking that on board. Cause, and he, he had that faith and trust and he wanted to go ahead with it. Obviously, you know what, people, you know, when you are skeptical, you know, when, when something new comes about, you know, there's, oh, what's, ha what's out there, what's not out there, what's happening, what's not going to happen. There'll be questions, right? There always are questions. And, and then there are believers and, you know, there are people who come through to that belief later on, you know, by finding studies and so on, so on. So it's, it's, it's one of those things. But for me, as I said to you, you know, like if, if, if I hadn't seen that person from where that person was when they started, because, you know, I still remember that first call I took. 
with Taylor. You know, I, I, I still remember that. And from there to like see him, you know, walk out that day, last day with the video and happy, booked and, you know, holiday to go abroad, it's giving somebody's life back to them. And, and and that that is you know the most amazing part that you know when they walk out of it it's like you know they they that, that value they get for life is is a, it's 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 awesome priceless yeah. Yeah. No, yeah it was hard not to be emotional like he was yeah he was so motivated too and he was so happy and like, yeah anyway but um, yeah so they, and that's the thing too if anybody has um, any any patients that have any questions about it um, yeah, just forward them to Vic. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, or yeah. do they have to follow it year after year? Oh, so it is It is that set program. So it is, um, it, and it depends. If it's a patient that has a progressive um, condition, uh, they may do a fo like another a program, like another 14-week um, program. Um, but for mild to moderate traumatic brain injury, it's for the 14 weeks uh, well, 16 to be available for the assessments, um, and then that's that. That's what they've proven. I think in the one study, it was they followed up 12 weeks after, and, yeah. and the effects had Some still been there. Some people do a ma maintenance program. Yeah, so, so so you can, and it's a cheaper program if you do do a maintenance. Uh, if you get another mouthpiece, because the mouthpiece does expire, so um, they'd have to. Yeah, the mouthpiece is only good for the time period of the 14 weeks, then it expires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, yeah, but you can get another one. But again, you know what, those, those, you know, when, when it comes down to those kind of things, you know what, yes, they are very, very, you know, valuable questions, and they are very important questions. But when it comes down to somebody's health, right, and when they see the actual results, then those questions never come up. You know, they never even come, you know, they never even surface afterwards. Because you know they get what they gain is a lot more, and and that's the key of that you know and you know to that. So any, any questions? questions? Well, uh, I want to add something about it. Actually, yes, yeah, I, yeah, I'm please. not a big fan of device, no, no. but uh, <laughs> it's okay. I I think it's pretty amazing actually because um, I, I I can share some of the knowledge I got from the posture since I'm a posturologist and I work in neurotherapy for a, for a long time. Uh, the tongue got reflexive zone all over it of the human body. It's like a, a man standing over the tongue. So that's pretty cool if you can simulate those zones with a device. In the level one for the one who have took my course, remember there's a guy that uh, grab, uh, that go over, I think that's the seven uh, tips of the Everest. Seven. He's blind. He climbed those mounts with something like that, that go on the tongue, that transfer it to a camera, uh, uh, that take the information and transmit it, that carbon it actually as an electric signal to his tongue. And he learned how to see with his tongue that way. I wonder so, if that was Paul Bakirita, though, his research. Because, yeah. yeah, it's been going. I wonder if that's one of his so research things. projects. So that's that. really and interesting. That so actually, yes, there's a facial nerve that, that goes to the part of the tongue. That's the trigeminal nerve as well. And the, the 12, uh, the, the um, the 12th cranial nerve is to move the tongue as well. So we, uh, there's a guy in posturology that said that the tongue needs to be vertical as the like the human. Mm. It's pretty interesting. Our, our tongue is supposed to be on the tip. It's called the, the spot lingual, where that before you clack, you click the, the tongue. The tongue should be always there. If if the tongue is slower, there's a, there's actually already a problem with the verticality of the person. So that's really interesting. Since the cranial nerve, if they're stimulate, they're going through the brainstem. So the pons, it's called like that for a reason. And uh, the pons work on the gate mechanism by the uh, ponto and midzulary scular formation. That's, uh, so I, I think that's a really, really cool device. And they, I, I'm, I'm pretty interesting to see it in action. So uh, yeah. no, yeah, no, no. And, and you know, thank you. Thank you for adding those, you know, again. It's 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 so great, you know, and having such a you know team of uh, multidisciplinary, you know, of what you guys do, and you know, we can incorporate these kind of things for people who need it, or even just educate people. It, it's it's important, you know, just just sharing that knowledge, you know, with each other, and that's what we do, how we do, what we do, and, you know, and and this this is it. It's all about at the end of the day, it's all about patient care, you know. That's what's in the back of the mind that you know we are doing it for patient. 
you know, whatever it is. Because some, some people just need to know which direction to head to, and they don't know that. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, guiding them, you know, on that. Yeah, patient care is always number one, and then also innovation, right? If we continue to do things how we did in the past, well, then we'll only be stuck here, right? It's about uh, bringing new innovation into the practice, innovating ourselves and figuring out how we can best treat our patient population and one another, right, to, to better tomorrow, better than today. So really exciting times for us here and uh, great appreciation for everyone here and allowing for this to occur. No, Thanks, Leah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for listening. You